Hi everybody, this is Brandon's Movie Corner, and it's time for a VHS and Blu-ray update for November 6, 2018. In this update, I'm going to show you 10 VHS tapes and 3 Blu-rays. And yesterday, I finally received my VHS tapes and Blu-ray from Cinema Sickness, which I ordered um, 3 weeks ago. And they were shipped out on October 19th, and USPS was being so stupid... I didn't even receive my package till yesterday, but I finally got them. And also last night, I got two Blu-rays at Walmart after I went and saw Bohemian Rhapsody in the theater, which that was an awesome movie, by the way. So let's not waste any more time. Let's get started with the update, and we're going to start with the VHS tapes. The first one comes in the 2000 VHS box, but this is actually... Um, an older VHS release, so I'll show you why in a minute. And that is Abba and Costello meet Jerry Seinfeld. This is a 1994 documentary about Bud Abba and Lou Costello, hosted by Jerry Seinfeld. And I do have some of Abba and Costello's movies on VHS and one on DVD, which I haven't seen any of their movies yet, but I'm going to have to check them out sometime. Yep. Running time is 46 minutes. And even though this is in a 2000 VHS box, the tape itself is still the original 1995 VHS. Here's the sticker label. And it was printed in the 15th week of 1995. And in case you're wondering why there's no sheets on my bed right now, it's because they're currently in the dryer upstairs because I washed them today. Next one is a Warner Brothers Hits VHS, and that is the 1998 VHS of Above the Law. This is a 1988 film with Steven Seagal, and it also has Pam Greer, Sharon Stone, Daniel Feraldo, and Henry Silva. Meet Nico, he's a cop with an attitude. The action sequences will knock you out of your seats as Jeffrey Lyons Steak previews INN. Seagal is a one man lethal weapon, says Pat Collins WWOR TV. Rated R, 99 minutes. Ink label, and this has two print dates August 10th, 2002, and August 14th, 2002. This is the later reprint. Next one is the 2000 VHS of Angels with Dirty Faces. This is a 1938 film with James Cagney, Pat O'Brien, and Humphrey Bogart. From the same side of the tracks to the opposite sides of the law. It also has the Dead End Kids Anne Sheridan and George Bancroft. The New York Times proclaimed Angels with Dirty Faces, Cagney at his best. And here's a little fun fact. Um, in the movie Home Alone, Kevin watches a movie called Angels with Filthy Souls. And from what I read, it's actually supposed to be a parody of this movie. So that's pretty interesting. Not rated and it's 97 minutes. Ink label. Again, this has two print dates August 29th, 2001, and September 19th, 2001, which that was just eight days after 9 11. And next one is the 1995 VHS of Canadian Bacon. This is also a 1995 film starring the late John Candy, which this movie was released a year after his death. It also has Alan Alda, Bill Nunn, Kevin J. O'Connor, Rhea Perlman, Kevin Pollock, G.D. Spradlin, and Rip Torn, written, produced, and directed by Michael Moore. Sheriff Bud Boomer is leading the American invasion of Canada just as soon as he finds it.
A determinedly wacky comedy. Candy is as usual lovable, says Entertainment Weekly. And this movie was actually filmed in late 1993, but it was not released until 1995. And this was the second to last movie that John Candy filmed, but the last movie he actually filmed was Wagons East, which he died during filming of that movie in 1994. But this was the, the last movie of his to actually be released, but the second to last to be filmed. Rated PG, approximately 95 minutes. Inclable and... I do not think this has a print date. I don't see one anyway. Next one is the 1998 VHS of Jesus Christ Superstar. This is a 1973 film. And this tape is THX certified. And it stars Ted Neely, Carl Anderson, Yvonne Elliman, and Barry Denon. And this is based on the rock opera by Tim Rice and Andrew Lloyd Webber. Nominated for several Golden Globe Awards, including Best Picture, Best Actor, and Best Actress. Rated G, 1 hour and 47 minutes, a.k.a. 107 minutes. Here's the sticker label. Printed in the seventh week of 1998. And next one is a widescreen VHS, and that is the 1995 Letterbox Edition VHS of Judge Dredd. This is also a 1995 film with Sylvester Stallone, and it also has Armin Asante, Diane Lane, Rob Schneider, Joan Chen, Jurgen Prochnow, and Max von Sydow. In the future, one man is judge, jury, and executioner. Non-stop actions is daily variety. A lethal loud and loaded action adventures is NBC TV. Rated R. Running time is 96 minutes. Here's the ink label. Recommend this action hit the friends. Well, I haven't seen it yet, so I can't, can't recommend it until I actually watch it. Perk date, November 28th, 1995. I thought this tape was from 1996, but it turns out it's actually from 1995. And next one is the 1983 VHS of The Lords of Discipline. This is also a 1983 film with David Keith, Robert Prosky, G.D. Spradlin, Barbara Babcock, and Michael Bain. And unfortunately, the box is not in the best condition, as you can see, but hopefully the tape will still work fine. And this is an older Paramount Home Video release, so I couldn't pass this up. Rated R, 103 minutes. Here's the vertical sticker label and the end label. Former rental from Tower Video, and you might not be able to see the week in your code well, but it's printed in the 45th week of 1988, so this is a later reprint, and there is something underneath the sticker label, so I think we know what this will have at the end. And next one is the 1991 VHS of Marked for Death. This is a 1990 film with Steven Seagal. And it also has Joanna Pakula and Keith David.
They've attacked his family, they've killed his partner, and now Steven Seagal is marked for death. Rated R, approximately 93 minutes. Yep, and on the box it has both the Fox video and CBS Fox video label. And it even says copyright night time on the CBS Fox company right there. So this must have been released around the time that um, CBS Fox video was switching its name over to Fox video. And the sticker label even has the CBS Fox video logo on it as well. And this tape is a later printing, printed in the 35th week of 1995. So I'm going to have to check and see whether th if this has the CBS Fox video logo or the Fox video logo. I'm guessing it's going to have the Fox video logo, but I'll find out for sure when I check this tape. Next one is the 1992 VHS of Mo Money, also a 1992 film with Damon Wayans. It also has Stacy. Dash, Joe Santos, John Deal, and introducing Marlon Wayans. Johnny can resist anything except love and money, especially money. Laugh Out Loud Funny says Jeff Craig of 60 Second Preview. Rated R, approximately 91 minutes. Here's the sticker label. This is a recycled tape. The eighth week of 1996 and the 43rd week of 1999. So this is obviously a later reprint. And now here's the last VHS for the update. And that is the 2000 VHS of the straight story. This is a 1999 film with Richard Farnsworth and Sissy Spacek. Academy Award nominee, Best Actor, Richard Farnsworth. Winner, Best Actor, Richard Farnsworth, Best Cinematography, Freddie Francis at New York Films Critics Circle. Winner, 1999 Screen International Award, Best Picture, Non-European. A true story that proves a little determination goes a very, very long way. Part of the stick, part of the critique's blocked with a blockster sticker, but I think it says the sweetest, most compassionate movie Lynch has ever made is the Chicago Tribune. And this was directed by David Lynch. Former rental from Blockbuster purchased on October 1st, 2000. Rated G, approximately 112 minutes. And I did hear this movie is supposed to be really, really good, so I'm going to have to check this one out someday. Ink label, recommend this winner to friends. Again, I've not seen it yet. And because it's a blockbuster rental, it's got the letters BB and grade on the side. And the perk date is April 17th, 2000. So those are all the VHS tapes I got from Cinema Sickness. And I actually got all of them for free and I only just had to pay $5.75 for shipping. And now on to the three Blu-rays, which the first one I also got from Cinema Sickness, which I got this for $13 plus $3.50 shipping. And that is the 2018 release of Ant-Man and the Wasp. Also a 2018 Marvel Studios film and the sequel to the 2015 film Ant-Man, which I also went on Blu-ray. I saw this in theaters on opening night and this was a fun sequel. Marvel Studios at its best says Molly Freeman of Screen Rant. And here are the Blu-ray bonus extras, which you can just pause and read to yourself. Here's the actual Blu-ray case. And I do not feel like reading the cast list, so you can just pause the video and read it off to yourself. Because it has a long cast list. I don't feel like reading it. Rated PG-13 for some sci-fi action violence. Running time is approximately 118 minutes. There's a disc. Movies Anywhere and Disney Movie Rewards code. I already used this for my Disney Movie Rewards account. 
And an ad for the Disney Movie Club. And now here are the two Blu-rays that I got at Walmart last night. First one is also a 2018 Blu-ray of Celebrating Mickey. And this is a compilation of Mickey Mouse cartoons released to commemorate Mickey Mouse's 90th anniversary. 13 classic Mickey shorts including Steamboat Willie and more. And I'm going to have to speed this up because my phone battery is running low. Includes 13 classic shorts you can just pause and read off to yourself. Total shorts running time approximately 100 minutes. Here's the Blu-ray and DVD. Disney Movie Rewards and Movies Anywhere code, which I already used for my Disney Movie Rewards account. And an ad for the Disney Movie Club. And now here's the last Blu-ray, which this is a steel book, and this is the second Blu-ray steel book that I own, the other one being Deepwater Horizon. And that is the 2016 release of Christine, 1983 film based on the novel by Stephen King and directed by John Carpenter. Carpenter's best since Halloween's is Time Magazine. John Carpenter brings Stephen King's best-selling novel to life in this chilling thriller. And this movie stars Keith Gordon, John Stockwell, Alexander Paul, Robert Prosky, and Harry Dean Stanton. And here's the special features list you can just pause and read it yourself. Rated R, approximately 110 minutes. Here's the disc. And it has the digital HD and ultraviolet code, which... I don't usually hide these codes, but the only reason why I'm hiding it is because I was going to try putting this in on my Sony Rewards account, but for some reason the site's down, so I'm going to try going on the site again later and try putting in this code. So that's the only reason why I'm hiding it. So, yeah. And that's going to do it for my VHS and Blu-ray update for November 6, 2018. And this morning I did order four more VHS tapes and a Blu-ray from eBay, which I will post down in the comments below. And also three weeks ago I pre-ordered a DVD on Amazon, which is coming out on November 20th, which that will also be listed down in the comments. Anyways, that's it for the update. This is Brandon's Movie Corner signing off.